The Everson Center is special because of that role that it has in addressing a very unique and very particular uh, societal problem, that of making sure that we have the lights on. I think it's the only partnership that exists nationally where a major regional energy utility entrusts a, a university with being kind of the research engine. This partnership with the uh, University of Connecticut is very unique uh, because it, it really helps laser focus research that is very pertinent for an immediate need in the industry. One of the things that I'm very proud of is that we developed over the past 10 years a, a quite unique uh, outlets uh, prediction model. The Yukon model helps us project out trouble spots on our system. Of course, a big portion of that projection is built around proximity of our power lines to trees and the impact those trees would have on our power lines. I'm the Associate Director of the Eversource Energy Center. I'm also the project leader for the vegetation management and modeling uh, component of the center. I'm a forest ecologist and I study how trees grow and uh, what factors might affect the structure of trees and their movement in the wind. Um, so the work that we're doing is trying to understand how we can manage forests and individual trees to make them less likely to fail and impact power infrastructure. The Eversource Center is a really valuable partnership for, for the state as a whole because the work that we're doing is helping to improve the reliability and resilience of the, of the grid to help keep the power on during storms um, and hopefully will help us to uh, deal with the increasing frequency and severity of storms as, as the climate is changing. Um, so the work that we're doing should have really strong benefits for people around the state in, in terms of keeping the power on and um, keeping people happy. <laughs>